presidency. That was their, you know, initial main thing. Then uh, they went for a full takeover of the country and a power grab that we haven't seen the likes of since Hitler, involving a takeover of the three branches of the United States government and the press. I mean, you, you know, you would never try a coup d'etat and not have the press controlled or else you'd fail. So it's the three branches of the government and the press. And the press is very important because it used to be referred to as the right arm of anarchy. And now you could basically call it the right arm of criminality. Um, so the coup then, once they flooded the government with these, you know, worthless hacks and criminals and old political hacks who, you know, were completely dug out of the Nixon era. Um, what they did was they disabled the Justice Department first. You saw that with Alberto Gonzalez and then they disabled the regulatory agencies and you've seen that all of these crimes, Wall Street, trillions of dollars walked out of Wall Street and no prosecutions, no regulators sitting there to protect the people and the people have been fleeced because of that. So the coup infiltrated the Justice Department, the regulatory departments, the courts, and this was all to be able to run their agenda, effectuate their crimes against the people with no repercussions, as if they were above the law. And that's what we see with George Bush at L. And we're going to take a break. Thank you. We're back live with Elliot Bernstein and his presidential solo campaign. And if I were your president, part one today, um, January 9th, 2011. Um, now, the Coopsters um, first disabled the book. Then they, that changed our nation. And what it allowed them to do once they got the top was plant down and bring in all kinds of crooks and criminals and mix in deadbeats and all these various uh, scum, let's call them. And they all flooded in. And the votes were all being manipulated and, you know, all the people who were investigating voter fraud for, uh, the Justice Department were thrown out and, you know, you saw that with the Gonzalez stuff again. Um, now, there was plenty of motive for the coup by those who orchestrated the coup and much to do with money and more to do with the power grab for self-aggrandizement for a few elitists, let's call them. And finally, further driven because many of the conspirators were caught in a series of criminal activities that would have cost them their fortunes and fortunes and landed them in prison for lengthy, lengthy sentences. So when they got caught with the Enrons and the Worldcoms and all these things, they knew that if justice was done, they'd be put in prison and all their assets would be seized and given back to the people because it was all gained through crime. And uh but once the Foxes seized the hen house, and once the Supreme Court aided and abetted this conspiracy, um, all hell broke loose, and we can all see basically where the country has gone uh, and traversed, and how we become a lawless society with criminals running the country, uh, running the government, acting above the law, actually above the law. No no prosecutions, not even trials or truth commissions where people can be vindicated. So if George Bush didn't do war crimes, he should want to come to court and he should want to present his case and be either vindicated or convicted. But you, you, you're, you're certain that someone's guilty when they fear the vindication process. And you can be assured that the country is seized and under a tyrannous coup when you see no true justice being applied. I mean, these are simple things. You're demanded, by the way, Barack Obama is, to, 
to investigate allegations of war crimes of anybody. And of course, it's going to be the leaders who are being investigated because those are the guys who would do the war crimes and initiate them. But not in our country. We're somehow not doing that while you're being brainwashed that there's an economy meltdown or uh, this or that disaster or some important gay military vote or, you know, in your brain. But you should be asking, where are the trials? I want to see, did George Bush commit a crime or did he? Okay, so let me get back to my agenda. Um, we can see where the country's gone. Uh, we can see where it's going to go lawlessly. And obviously our forefathers anticipated the calamity of government corrupting. And so they gave the people, you, we, the people, the remedy to reboot, basically. Reboot and restore the government in case this event, in case we were ever could. Um, and those are your constitutional rights. So is it time, which my um, platform will suggest, to reboot entirely Congress, the courts, the three branches, and start with a bunch of fresh faces? Now, the people from Congress, etc., would need to be tried and either vindicated and come back to their jobs, or, you know, we'll get down through the process of trial, and at the end of trial, you know, some of these crimes, treason, and sedition, you know, are off with your head. And uh, if they're caught in a conspiracy where they damaged all these millions of lives around the world, I say off with your head. And we should trail it up to the top this time. We got all the evidence. We've got them in their war crimes. We've got them in their financial crimes. It's time, really, for the country to do what we're supposed to do, justice, truth, justice, the American way. And, you know, no justice has been secured at this moment for our country for any of the crimes that are going on. So as we explore the legal and constitutional remedies to this very real and fact-filled conspiracy treason against our country, Keep in mind that there is overwhelming evidence that there have been alleged war crimes, torture violations, human rights violations, uh, financial crimes committed all by our leaders, not some foreign terrorist who knocked down three buildings. These guys are destroying millions of people's lives and taking millions of homes through shoddy documents and illegal things and all with intent. That's, that's criminal conspiracy. This isn't conspiracy theory. That has no jail time to a criminal conspiracy. This is a very real, legal, factual conspiracy that if proven in a court of law true, has very serious consequences, legal consequences. So it's a legal conspiracy where two or more people conspire to deprive rights of people. And this is one of the grossest. And, and they're hoping that you think it's too big. You can't deal with it. But it's not. It's just a matter of crime and justice. And those two things need to be in this country. If there's going to be crime, there needs to be justice. But when the criminals are running the Justice Department, obviously you can see what's not going to happen. And the people are going to get fleeced more and more until they demand that right. And so part of my platform will be demanding that right for the people. And um, these crimes aren't innocent crimes. They've left Millions of people displaced, homeless, dead. Our soldiers go, look, if they took our country to war illegally, then they're killing our soldiers and they're directly responsible for every dead American soldier. So let's keep that in mind um, as we go through this legal conspiracy to commit treason, sedition, war crimes, etc., by our leaders. Um, these crimes have bankrupted our nation, uh, both morally and financially. Again, they've left many dead, maimed, tortured worldwide, uh, including financial terrorism. Since the coup took over, um, we, we've actually started concentration camps like Abu Grahel or Abu Ghraib or Gitmo or Gitmo Schwitz where people are, have no rights, uh, habeas has been removed, their rights to counsel, to fair and impartial, speedy due process and trust. Hey, look, if they're terrorists and they did something bad and we got 
evidence and we want to fry him, if we can take that to court and show that these people were going to do something against our country with no provocation, then, you know, I'll be the guy to pull the switch on them. But we're not even giving them the right to anything. This is a concentration camp. Many of them have been beaten to death, uh, where we didn't get any valuable intel or anything that we know of, and they died without any rights. That's called a concentration camp. I don't, I don't know how much more evidence of concentration camp you really need. Uh, Jesse Ventura says they're building FEMA death camps for American citizens. You know, I wouldn't put it past them. They're Nazis. They come from direct descendants of Nazis. Our country might, in fact, be like Germany in World War II, where the Nazis took over the government and then brainwashed the German people. I mean, why did you need Goebbels' propaganda channel if all the Germans were in line with, with all this killing and everything? They didn't. Why did Hitler kill the dissenters first, which were German people who could oppose him, the intellectuals and all that? Now you see what's going on in America. WikiLeaks, all these things. I, you know, I mean, if you're too stupid to know what's going on, then you shouldn't be watching this video and definitely aren't going to vote for me. But, you know, I mean, if you're in and you know the jiggy, this is a plan that, you know, hopefully somebody with some teeth can can institute for our country. Because I don't think they take me too seriously this way. But anyways, um, you know, note that no justice has been served in our nation since the coup seized the government. And once the Fox was in, they began, you know, going into illegal wars uh, to profit a handful of their buddies, Texas companies and other companies, and their Saudi buddies, and their... And, and so Crime Inc. became the United States. And, you know, uh, they, they then, you know, crime after crime, they then once the war chest was full from money for Iraq and whatnot, which none of that money is really going there. It's been stolen out of our country through illegal wars that Congress has, with no war declarations, appropriated funds. We have a president who thinks he's a commander-in-chief, but his commander-in-chief rights don't go into effect constitutionally until Congress has formally gone through the process of formal declarations of war, which they haven't. So all of this money has been being stolen with the Congress idiots' approval, making them all principal conspirators. And they all know the laws here. They're not stupid. So even though they got you brainwashed and pumping that crap on you all day, don't buy any of it. They're criminals, and they're war criminals, and they should be tried. And we're going to get to that part of my presidential candidacy. But um, what, what, what you can see is that while Wall Street's melting down and all this calamity for Americans, while we're being bankrupted states and 200-year-old companies and all that, they're calling hardworking middle-class American people stupid and sheeple, and they're laughing at the Americans as they rip off uh, government programs uh, like pension, social security, health care, uh, all of these things, um, you know, and, you know, they're, they're telling the people these are entitlements, uh, but you pay into uh, Social Security and you pay into unemployment insurance, which they don't want to give people, and you, you deducted that out of your check each month, and, you know, They've ripped off little old ladies of their home equities and their homes and thrown them right the hell out based on fraudulent documents. Again, lawyers architecting all this in the background. You must keep that, you know, in the back of your mind. And a lot of this is uh, done by people who are in positions of power with legal degrees. And so they know exactly how to twist and break the laws. And they're supposed to be using those laws to protect your pensions to protect your uh, rights, to protect a lot, but they're using them in a criminal way. So law has become part and the backbone to the criminal enterprise, um, the RICO criminal enterprise that's now seized our government, uh, Crime Inc. Uh, uh, 
I, for one, personally am done listening to these Ivy League mainly idiots.